was the time when the light of the sky was still noon, this light that gave stars to the night and in the day lit the whole world. It was a beautiful time. Everywhere there was life. In the oceans there was killer whale, seal and otter. On the land was beaver and bear. And of course, as always, there was Raven. Now, you see what happens when you fight? If you'd shared that nut, you'd both have something instead of Raven here. Right? A lesson learned, eh? Did you see that? And to think, it was you and I who freed them in the first place. The nerve. I'll say, nerve is right. Mm. You, pick that up, dispose of it properly. Kids these days, no respect. Eagle? Yes? What is it we're doing exactly? Well, we're doing our jobs. Jobs? Walking around bugging others, that's our job? If we didn't do something, things would simply fall apart. You can't just let these animals run wild. Right, after all, it isn't like they're wild animals. Hmm? Oh, ha, ha. Hey, you, tighten up that nest. Glad you didn't hear that. How oh, um. All right. So we've done all western beaches. On to the north beach. Making good time today. Give it a rest. Sure. We have a few minutes. Mmm, chestnut. Sent this far over the sky. Still gotta go check on bear. Maybe we gotta go make sure that nest doesn't fall apart. The bees. It's gotta be in order. Can't have that on line in man. Yay! Oh look here, my brothers. If it isn't Eagle and Raven resting. Been working hard then. As a matter of fact, yes. Just today we've been Frog! What happened to you? That's Frog. Over there. What is it you want now, Frog? Oh, nothing. Just wandering. Had another dream. Saw changes coming again. Some good, some bad. We've had enough change for now. Now scurry on. Hmm. What changes? Oh, nothing big. Just the coming of man. And one of you will be the one who finds them. Well, nothing doing so far. Oh, by the way, we've just come up from the beach. It's such a curious sight, what we found there. Hmm. And what's that? Well, it's only a great clamshell. The largest I've ever seen. Really? Well, we have other things to do. It can wait. Tide is coming in. It'd be a shame if it were just washed away. Hmm. Where is it, you say, frog? So Frog gave them directions. And because he is always curious and not the best of workers on any day, Raven took to the wing to find this shell. And of course, Eagle followed to keep him out of trouble.
It was as Frog had said, the grandest clamshell raven or eagle had ever seen with a color that spoke of magic. Hmm. Well, we've seen it. Let's go. Hmm. I don't hear anything. Frog said it made noise. Frog evidently lied. Frog may be a riddler, but she isn't a liar. Who is it? Friend or foe? Well, friend, of course. And who are you? Not in there alone, are you? Be careful, Raven. It may be a trick. I'd heed his warning. We can be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, dangerous, mean, Rawr. Oh, really? Well, that could be fun. Come on out and let's see how dangerous. No, no uh, we'll, we'll stay in here, thank you. Uh, p- plenty of room in here, yes, sir. Well, there you have it. Give it up. Anyway, did you see the mess in there? These guys are slobs. Raven would not give up so easily. So as the tide came in and the sun set, Raven spoke. He coaxed and cajoled and coerced and promised. He sang until he was nearly hoarse. But finally... There you are, my friends. You see? I've done no harm to you. Come on out and let's have a look see. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what a motley crew. Speak for yourself, Baldy. I am not bald. These are feathers. They denote maturity. Whatever. Wow. These guys must be elders. Hmm. Indeed. (coughs) What elders? Hello. Hi. I'm Raven. And this is my brother, Eagle. (coughs) We have no names, but we are pleased for your company. Likewise. Nice enough. Uh oh, Shell. It was a trick. I told you they'll eat us now. (laughs) They're gonna eat us. They're gonna eat us now. Why would we eat one of you? Well, naturally, someone will have to take care of us then. I don't like this. Hey, you can all swim, can't you? Just swim out to the shell. Hmm? Breaststroke, crawl, backstroke, dog paddle. Well, I guess you can stay here. Raven. Look, the sun's going down. We've never been outside at night. Really? You can sleep here on the beach. It's safe. about that. I'll watch over you. Raven. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Sleep on the beach? The sand is rough. It'll do. Still hungry. You could round up some grub, eh, Eagle? Eagle? Eh? Eagle? Eagle? Fine.
under the night sky, Raven told the men about the world. For they did not know anything about it. They listened and ate and asked questions. What is all this stuff? And eventually they made ready for sleep. We have to find another shell and put them back where they came from. Why? Because I know you. You can hardly keep up with your present chores. Much less take care of these, these things as well. Did it ever occur to you that we don't have to run around fixing everything? It seems to me that most of the animals here are fine without us. And as for these people, they seem harmless enough. <laughs> well... At least do this for me, Raven. Promise me you will always watch over them. I promise, Eagle, to take care of these people, to watch over them as best I can for the duration of my time in this incarnation. Have a nice sleep. Off! <laughs> you said you'd keep watch. Now watch them. No problemo. All right, guys. Uh, do whatever it is you do. First, Raven and Eagle were satisfied in simply watching them do what all men have always done. But soon... You're driving me crazy! But we've got to get you guys organized. Get in line. Raven, come here. All right then. Time for you boys to straighten out. No more lollygagging around. Time you learn some hard lessons. First off, stand up straight. Suck in that gut. Hold out that chest, head high. And don't forget to breathe. I am here to make you into real men. Men who are proud and capable. You got that clam breath? Now let's get to work. Raven, you found him. You straighten him out. Go to work, brother. So Raven taught these first men how to make fire. How to hunt. And even how to fly. Just, what is it you are planning to do? Eagle, listen, please, you've got to help me. Please don't make me keep doing this, please. I beg of you, please. Let's just put them back where we found them. Back where? I don't see any clamshell. Do you? That's okay. We just plant them in the ground, like so. <coughs> <coughs> like that, see? No shell. No way. Okay. 
shelf. And like so, problem solved. No. <laughs> Eagle, please. Only if you can find a shell. Like the one they came from. Please. Yes, Eagle, please. I mean, what if there were another shell? Then would you consider placing them back from whence they came? Why not? Find a shell big enough, and they can go back. Good. I know where you can find another shell. Much like the first. Really? We're saved! Where is it? Perfect. No. Ah! Hey! I'll go. You've already made a mess of this. So Eagle took off, and with his eagle eyes he soon saw the shell frog spoke of. It's perfect. Right size and everything. This should do well. As what, Buster? Yikes. Um, well, I was just wondering who this belonged to. It belongs to us. Oh, of course. I just, um... He just, um... Be nice. He looks harmless enough. You're all alone? All alone. The three of us. Yes. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So Eagle flew back to Raven. He explained what he found in Raven. Raven came up with a plan. Hey boys, how would you like to come for a run with us? Yes. They ran along the beach as Raven and Eagle flew above. Wow, just like our old one. Yeah, this one's clean and actually livable. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. Uh-oh. This guy again. What are you doing? Well, we just thought that, um... Hey, boys. Meet the girls. Girls? The boys. Oh, my. Oh, please. Can you say makeovers? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Like us, only different. Oh. oh. All right. Who are these people? These people are men. Like you, they have two legs, two arms, a head, and apparently a brain. Unlike you, they lack some basic skills, but they make up for that with, with enthusiasm. Hello. We are pleased to meet you. Well, why not? Hmm. <clears throat> what do you think? I have an idea. What is it? Hey, Eagle, look at this. Didn't the men have a lot more room without all this stuff? A lot of wasted space. I don't think they could all possibly fit in there. Hey, guys. Everyone inside. Snug as bugs. Yes, yes, how silly of me to doubt you. But I wonder, will it float with all of you in there? Well, let's give it a whirl. Well, if you say so. Ooh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Farewell, friends. Bye bye. Ooh. Well then, that should do it. We'll never see any more of them, thank goodness. Yep. 
Now back to work. And the seasons went on as they always do while Eagle and Raven went on with their work. Fall to winter, winter to spring. Finally in summer they came back to the north. Sun's out, nice breeze, good summer day. Hey look, it's that old clamshell washed up. Hmm, doesn't look like they made it. No sign of them. Aw, too bad. Looks like they just didn't have what it takes. Nope, too weak. Could have told you that from the start. Didn't have the brawn or the brains. <sighs> well, Eagle old brother, what's on the list for today? Well, first off, we need to talk to the bears. And... Ah! Hey, what's the big idea? That's different. 